In this last lesson for trigonometry in triangles, we are going to have a look at the proofs of the trig rules that we've been using in the first five lessons. The sin, cos and area rule are formulated to expand our trigonometry uses to any triangle and not only 90 degree triangles. That is why for every one of the proofs we are going to start off by drawing a line that is perpendicular to one of the sides of the triangle. This line can be drawn from any of the three angles of the triangle. Next, we are going to use the two 90 degree triangles that were formed individually. I'm going to start off working in triangle ABD and in this triangle, I'm going to determine the sin ratio from angle A. Sin is opposite over hypotenuse and therefore sin of angle A will be side BD divided by side AB, which is small c. Here I can get BD alone on the right by multiplying with c on the left hand side. Next, I'm going to do the same thing in triangle BCD. So here I'm going to determine sin of angle C, and once again that is opposite over hypotenuse, so this means I will have sin of angle C is equal to BD over BC, which is small a. Once again, I'm going to get BD alone on the right by multiplying with a on the left hand side. Here I've now formed two equations and in both of them, the right hand side is BD. That means I can make the conclusion that the two left hand sides will also be equal. Therefore, C times sin of A is equal to A times sin of C. And if I now divide on both sides by A multiplied with C, once I've simplified, I will end up with sin of A over A is equal to sin of C over C. Similarly, by adding a perpendicular line drawn from angle A to BC, I will be able to prove that sin of B over B is equal to sin of C over C. And then I've proven my complete sin rule. For the proof of the cos rule, we are going to start with the same step of drawing a line perpendicular to side AC and then working in the two 90 degree triangles. This time we are also going to take side AC, which is small b, and break it up into a part x and b minus x. Next I'm going to work in triangle ABD and use the theorem of Pythagoras. I'm going to use this theorem to determine side BD, which is the common side for the two triangles. So the theorem of Pythagoras says that BD squared will be equal to C squared minus X squared. Then I'm going to repeat this in triangle BDC, where BD squared will then be equal to A squared minus side B minus X squared. And similar to in the sin rule, here we have the two left hand sides being equal, and that means that I can accept that the right hand sides will also be equal. And if I now multiply out the bracket and then get a squared alone on one side, I'm one step away from the final cos rule. This final step is to write the x in terms of cos. To do this, I'm going to work in triangle ABD, and if I look from angle A, X is my adjacent side, and C is my hypotenuse, and that forms cos. So cos of angle A is my adjacent side X over the hypotenuse, which is C. And to get X alone, I can then multiply with C on the left-hand side. And then I can go and substitute this into x's place. And once I've done this, I have proven the complete cos rule. The last proof is then the proof of the area rule. And once again, we're going to start by drawing that perpendicular line. 
with our normal formula for the area of a triangle, we will say that here the area is a half multiplied by B, multiplied with side BD. And just like in the sin rule, if we work in triangle ABD and we look from point A, side BD is the opposite side and AB is the hypotenuse, which means that sin of angle A is BD over C. And that means that BD is the same as C times sin of A. If I now go and substitute this into BD's place in my area formula, I will be able to say that the area of triangle ABC is a half times B times C times sin of A. And now I've proven the area rule. Similarly, I can draw a perpendicular height from angle A and angle C to prove the other two options for the area rule. Any one of these three proofs can be asked as a theory question in your exam. Therefore, it is definitely worthwhile to make sure that you understand them and then know them by heart.